What's up, everybody? Uh, thought I'd make a quick video on uh, a Glock problem I had. Uh, went out to the range the other day and encountered uh, the first problem I ever really had, major problem, uh, with a Glock pistol. I've owned several Glock pistols uh, in the past, just about every major caliber. And of course, I still own several. I still own several Glocks uh, to the day. The gun I'm gonna be I'm going to be talking about today is the uh, Glock 21 SF um, for short frame. I bought this gun almost probably about a year ago, and um, ever since I had, it, I've been having you know like slight. I noticed something was was amiss with it um, in that um, this one, of course, with the uh, short frame uh, was the first um, ambidextrous uh, mag release. Um, design or set up for the Glock pistol and, I, and therein lies the problem. I've had nothing but um, good experiences with Glock. Uh, my main uh, carry gun is still a Glock 17. Um, never had any problems with it um, and I guess it's just Glock uh, with this new design, with this ambidextrous design, they kind of um, uh, they left something to be desired in the in the designing of it. But the original problem I was having with was with the mag not um, the magazine not fitting. You know um, when you you know put a magazine in, it wouldn't fit. Um, it'll just keep sliding back down like it wouldn't lock. And sometimes I was thinking maybe that was just you know I was using 230 grain rounds, and I was just thinking they so fat maybe you know they um, you know they were swelling or something and, and giving the magazine a problem. And most time if you just kind of work it, it'll it'll lock in but I did notice on several occasions I had failures of the magazine to actually seat inside the uh, firearm and I didn't think much of it um, because it was generally you know with a you know I kinda actually just sized it in you know into my uh, routine of drawing and working it just you know um, slap the magazine in and uh, mess with the mag release button a little bit if, if it was uh, jamming for some reason but anyway you shouldn't have to do that but I was doing it and eventually just like with a car, if you start noticing one thing is going wrong, uh, you might want to go ahead and get it checked out because um, if you don't fix it, it's going to lead to bigger things. And that's kind of what happened at the range the other day. And uh, I'm glad it happened there and not in the, um, any other situation because uh, that could have cost me. Um, but if you look at my Glock 21, let me see if I can show it to you if I can get it in the light. Do, do, do. See that? something's missing and that's where the um, magazine release uh, was and that was the first thing I took it to the range I was getting ready to shoot and I tried to put the mag in and the mag went whole it just kept sliding in and out and I was like what the hell and I looked at it and then I um, the mag was already in uh, the mag the uh, gun at first I took it out uh, to take out my um, my hollow points and to put some um, some uh, training rounds in and that's and once I got ready to do that I, I saw a piece fall out I couldn't tell what it was I'm like whoa and um, I didn't think I just thought it was you know my eyes playing tricks on me so I bypassed that loaded the mag with the trainer ammunition and tried to put it back in and it just kept going up and down and it wouldn't it wouldn't lock in and that's when I noticed the the mag the magazine release button was acting funny I took it out, um, looked around, didn't see anything, then the magazine release just kind of slid to the side, and I, and I knew then for sure, like, oh, you know, that's that's messed up, and um, long story short, the damn thing came out, and so I'm on the way to Glock this morning, uh, I live in Georgia, and Glock headquarters is in Georgia, so drive around, now, I heard they have pretty good customer service, I don't know, I'll let you know, keep you updated. But I'm going, I'm going to uh, go around there and see if they can get this problem squared away. I was trying to see how to put it back together myself. I broke my other Glocks down, changed them, completely field stripped them. But I didn't quite, I couldn't quite figure out how to um, put this piece back together because there are no diagrams online showing you uh, the inner workings of the 21 SF, and it's different from the other models, uh, being that it's ambidextrous and it has a different design here. But these are the two pieces that came out. I'm gonna lay them on the floor for you. This is the, of course, you can recognize this. This is the ambidextrous mag release. And this, I believe, is some type of spring that, you know, holds it in place. I don't know if there's another piece missing, but I didn't see anything. And I looked thoroughly around the um, the area where I was shooting at um, before I left to try to figure out another piece that had come out. But 
apparently not and um, it is what it is so peace I'll let you know what happens first Glock fail ever Glock 21 SF all right just arrived at the Glock facility checked in with security now we're going over to the uh, place where the visitor spot to get my Glock fixed I'll let you know how it turned out so I probably can't use no cameras in there peace all right I just got back from the uh, Glock manufacturing plant in Smyrna, Georgia, um, about 20 minutes outside of where I live here in Atlanta. They fixed my problem. This is uh, my new pistol. Well, not new pistol, but uh, what they actually did was replace the frame. I had a Glock 21 SF and the ambidextrous magazine release failed on me and came apart. First failure I ever had, major failure I ever had with a Glock 21 or Glock, any Glock. And um, I got to say, first of all, the Glock has excellent customer service. Gave them a call. They told me to stop by uh, before 4 o'clock. Uh, went over there. And they had one. When you get there, there's a security guard posted at the gate. Uh, you have to check in with him. He gives you the detail on where to go. He calls and let them know you're there. And um, he, you know, tie the, you know, make sure your gun is safe. Puts a little uh, zip tie through it and everything. And... It was a simple process. I mean, amazingly simple, amazingly good customer service on uh, behalf of Glock. Came in, uh, they have a little office set up where you go in and a technician comes out and meets you, ask you what's going on, you let them know, bam, 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 they take care of it. Took them about an hour um, to fix my problem. Basically what they did, it wasn't really so much as a fix, but they replaced the Glock 21 SF frame with a standard Glock 21 frame. They asked me if that would be a problem, and with me, it wasn't. Uh, even though I'm a lefty and I bought the AMB for that capacity, I never really liked that about the AMB. I have all my other Glocks are just standard Glocks, and um, since I'm a lefty, I just take it by extended mag releases. But this one actually feels fine. I don't know if this is extended or not, but it actually pokes out a little bit. Um, that may be. It may be a, a extended release now. Think about it, because I know it was feeling kind of um, natural to me. Anyhow, they uh, asked me if I would accept the uh, replacement frame, which I did. So now I have a new frame, which has actually, which is a little bit odd. It has a different serial number from the actual slide serial number. But what they said they do with the old SF frames is they cut them in half and destroy them, uh, make note with the ATF, and uh, make note with the ATF of the new serial number that they give you with the, um, with the uh, gun. And... Um, that's uh that's you know that's about it they took care of the problem like i said they had excellent customer service and uh took a quick couple quick snapshots i'll show you at the end if you have any questions about it let me know but um i'll take a, let you take a look at it too see now i just have the standard block frame no it's not ambidextrous anymore just um single side and you can see that's the 45 auto and um that's that. Good customer service on the part of Glock. And uh, I'm happy with them. And uh, peace.